Welcome back to Tragic the Garnering. Let's just jump right into it. I got a new lot from where else? Goodwill. Uh, 800 Magic the Gathering cards, um, as usual. This one from Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas. Let's see what we got. Um, there were a bunch of these auctions going up from the same Goodwill. And they were all in these long boxes. Um, varying degrees of interest. Um, as you can see, this one I picked up for 335 I think I paid shipping of about $16, I think. That, that and handling, right? So uh, 352 I think, is about what I paid. This one had a bunch of cards that were in sleeves. And... Uh, when you looked at what was on there, um, they, they seem pretty decent. You got a conspiracy here. Uh, I believe that's from Mercadian Mass, or it might be the Time Spiral version. Uh, Leon and Arbiter, or over here, yeah. Um, uh, Imperius Prefect, uh, Bloodbraid Elf. So, some decent stuff right in that first picture. Um, and then it's looking a little bulky. Um, there's a Nyx Fleece Ram, um, there's a card from Urza Saga, so there is some, a little bit of hope. Um, very hard to tell, and I'm interested to know if they mm, had a big collection with a bunch of bulk, and then they just split it up, uh, split up some good stuff and shoved it into each of the different boxes. I'm going to try to find that out now, there's a bunch of lightning bolts. Um, some other stuff, some foils. I think one thing that was encouraging, I did see somewhere in here, there's a Burning Wish that's actually out of the sleeve. So I'm hoping, and there's a thing at Battlefield Forge, hoping to find some good start cards that were out of sleeve so it wasn't completely just staged with the sleeve cards. We're going to find that out. Um, yep, I guess that's it. Let's move on to the next phase which is unboxing there's the box goodwill of western missouri and eastern kansas as i said um also while i'm doing this um i don't know if you can tell i got a new light up lighting setup hopefully it's gonna be a big improvement over sure i know how to open the box um, hopefully it's going to be a big improvement over my previous setup. Here is the receipt. Packing and one box. I'd love to see um, some of the other um, boxes from that same Goodwill. A couple of them got away actually. Mm, you know, didn't bid high enough on some of them. So, it's alright. We're going to see what's in here uh, on the end of the box. Was apparently an 87 Donruss basketball set. Or uh, baseball, sorry. Basketball will be over there. Um, what is really in here though, right? Um, alright, here we go. Sylvan Karyatid. This looks like, yeah, buy a box. This is alternate art. Buy a box promo, 449. Wait, spinneret sliver. Unbelievable. 1899 for a foil spinneret sliver. Is that right? Well, that's a winner. Got a Crit Breaker. This card 
Um, saw plenty of play in standard, I believe. And it's still five bucks as a foil. Um, we'll put it there. I think anything over five bucks, I'm gonna show off in <clears throat> my replay here. That's a fifteen dollar card. Very nice. You got a foil sensei a golden tail. Another five dollar card. Heartstone from the Slivers deck. Six ninety nine. There's a good one. This one is, I'm interested in Wirewood Symbiote from, what is that, Scourge? Let's take a look. Yeah, I thought that might be something a little better because it's a card to see some play. Forbidding Watchtower. Solid. Sarah Avenger as a foil from M13. Decent. Eleven ninety seven. <clears throat> so 14 bucks for the Garfield Finkel Necropotence. Solid. Now this one, I looked it up before and it was a lot more than I was expecting. It's a body snatcher. It's a foil rare from Urza's uh, Destiny. So that apparently makes it 48 bucks. Okay, I will not complain about that ever. A little more curious obsession. Wow, pretty good. Got a couple of those. So a Myogen of Infinite Rage, regular printing would be maybe a buck or something, but the uh, foil version is $9.89. Cool. Okay, Exsanguinate. So this is already a highly played card in Modern, I believe, right? And as a foil, it is... Pretty decent, 13 bucks. Oh, I'm frozen over here, hold on. Yep, Exsanguinate, 13.29. So, that's good. And some lightning bolts, and these are all from the, oh yeah, there's five of them, wow. From the Fire and Lightning set. That one. 425, that's that one. Four of those. There's 16 bucks right there. Our Lieutenant Kurtar from Odyssey. Bird Soldier Legend. $22.99. Wow, unexpected. It's in really good condition. Uh, a couple of jackal pups. These are DCI promos. 
826. Wow, that's interesting. A foil island from Urza Saga? I'm guessing this is not technically from Urza Saga, right? Because mm, as a foil... Uh, I don't know. They didn't have a foil printing for that, so is it the arena promo? Boy, it just might be. And that is a $16 card. Awesome. Very cool. Friday Night Magic Isochron Scepter promo. Got some serious edging issues and some pretty gnarly play and a crease on it. That's so whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on, it's not a council's judgment. So the Isochron Scepter promo would be $11.99. This is heavy play at best. Probably, probably gonna maybe even be damaged. So we'll see. Put it over here. The full detention sphere. Oops, it's double sleeved even, so hopefully it's in good condition. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, 1096 for foil detention sphere. Very solid, I guess. So I'll double sleeve it the other way. Gray merchant of Asphodel. Uh, we got the foil version from Theros is seven bucks. Amazing. The foil stone rain from Mercadian Mass. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-two, really, for a common foil stone rain. Guess what? There's two of them. That's great. Well, <clears throat> running out of room to show off here. I'll add up another one of those. Um, my card total is looking pretty good there. Goblin Bushwhacker. These are actually pretty decent. And there's a nice near mint playset. Cup 250 each. A Mirrodin Fabricate is 375 and an M10 Fabricate is 348 Great. A couple of Ancient Stirrings, 285 apiece. Ah, this is great. Like, a lot of these cards are over like two, two three, four bucks. Rolf's Messenger, 476. Very cool card. If you play zombies, you gotta have the Messenger, right? Um, yeah, speaking of zombies, Cemetery Reapers. Move my stacks here. Yep, 350. Got a couple of those. Reforge the Soul. I think. Ah, it's actually more than I thought it would be. Four bucks, great. Runescar Demon from Iconic Masters, still three something. Kakusho, four ninety-nine, yeah. Two of them, great. There's a Knight Exemplar for five bucks. Tolarian Entrancer. Five bucks. Rishadan Brigand. Should be a little bit. Yep, four bucks. All this stuff is really good. Rock's Faith Mender. Five bucks. Sure. Nightmare Lash. Buck. And a Parallax Wave. 4.44. Wow, this is adding up quite nicely as you can see there. Rest in peace. Still pretty good. That's a keeper. 
Uh, temporal aperture from Urza's Saga in really great condition. Another almost $8 card. Even though I did scan them. Kervek from Arch Enemy. Yeah, it's a different version. Let's take a look. Yeah, 450. Solid. Uh, and then Defense of the Heart from Urza's Legacy. Used to be about 12 bucks. What's, what's it going for now? 15. It's gone up a little bit. Great. Great, great, great. Uh, Hall of the Bandit Lord. Another great card. 17 bucks. Yeah, this, this box is really paying off. Really, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what the rhyme or reason was with this box. There's a bad Rhystic Steady. Very heavy play. <clears throat> it would be 14 bucks. I'm going to show it off over here anyway. Thespian Stage. Anyway, yeah, I th I'm not sure what the deal with this box was. It, it really feels like this was someone like me who buys collections or... Uh, you know, and then picks the good stuff, and then they had been throwing it into this box with no kind of organization. Um, it, this was not the kind of collection that just happens over time when you're a regular player. Um, so, just kind of think, kind of thought that was interesting. Oh. Waste not. Wow, those are good. Four bucks. These are going to be worth scanning. They even say they're 50 cents. But a season of the witch from the dark should be about 10 bucks. Well, it's not a desert Drake. Got a weird little false positive there. Yep, 978. And a necromancy from Visions. Eight bucks. Another great card. Yep, we're scoring here. Tireless Tracker, this is a good card, it should be about seven bucks. Nine, nine bucks. This be a new modern staple, right? Got Harold's Horn from Commander. Really, 12 bucks as a uncommon Commander card? All right, we better read it. Harold's Horn costs three colorless. As Herald's Horn enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creature spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. Great, gotcha. Guess that's pretty good in Commander. That's why it's expensive. Amazing. Goblin Chain Whirler. Current standard staple. 375. Solid. Uh, okay, still have half of this box left, and I've already hit like 500 bucks over what I paid for it. Uh, yeah. Still wishing I had picked up at least one of the other boxes from this set. Alright, so this was a foreign black border, Hypnotic Spectre. Um, I guess would that be... Korean. I don't know my different uh, languages. Um, let's equate this to like a revised edition just to be safe. It might go for more than $1.48. That scribble there might be an actual Douglas Schuler autograph, but uh, I think it's be very unlikely to be able to prove that in any way. But it's interesting that I have it now. Maybe I'll just throw it up on eBay with a bunch of caveats and uh, say, hey, look, if you think that this is real, go ahead and buy it. If you don't, don't buy it, right? So there's that. And a Full Art Swamp from Unhinged. I'm sorry, Unglued, I always get them mixed up. But it's over five bucks, there it goes. Curse Scroll from Tempest, in really good condition. So I think this has been going up. Yep, yep, almost 12 bucks. 
Um, sorry, Lily. You have to cover you up here. Uh, Urza's Incubator from Commander 2015, I think. No, it's not that one. It's this one, Commander 2015. Almost 11 bucks. Wow. This is quite a score. Breeze. Got a periphery nodes. That's decent. Five bucks. I don't know how I'm going to go about editing this all down. There's actually so many good cards that I don't know what I'm going to stop on and show off in the edited version to... I don't, I don't you know... Try to keep it under half an hour or something, if that's even possible. Uh, True Conviction, different version. And a Containment Priest. Uh, even though it just got a reprint. In, okay, the Ultimate Masters version, $4.30. Commander 2014 version, still 10 bucks. Conspiracy from Mercadian Masks. Eight bucks. Solid. And I got a Hakan, Stromgald, Scourge, a Zombie Knight, not familiar. Six fifty six. Mog Infestation from Stronghold. Six ninety five. Great. And can the Meek Stone from 4th edition push us over a thousand bucks at this point? This is definitely regular 4th. It can! There it is. Champion of the Parish. Yeah, that's from the dual decks. Bless versus Curse. I identified it correctly as well. So that's that's good. Uh, this forest is the I think arena promo version forest. I don't know if that's gonna be worth anything or if it can even Hey wow, oops, don't scan it twice. That's cool. $6.91 for a basic forest, just because it's kind of a rarity. Alright, we'll put that there. Play sets of stuff like that. Four bucks each. Okay, for anguish I'm making. Solid. Very nicely. Fell the Mighty from Commander. 494. Great. Pathbreaker Ibex. Oh, that's a big one. 939 for a Pathbreaker Ibex. It's a goat. Four and a two. Two, uh, two green. Whenever Pathbreaker Ibex attacks, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X to find the turn. Rex is the greatest power among creatures you control, so it's like a crater of behemoth kind of effect. That's cool. Uh, let's see here, we got a Fungusar. That looks like an unlimited card. Which we had seen there were some. No, it's not an alpha, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh my gosh! As an unlimited though, it's still 22 bucks. That is crazy. That is really good. Got a reverse damage, which uh, yeah, it's seen quite a bit of play. Again, not an alpha. Unlimited 18 bucks. Wow. 
altar of dementia tempest 591 Ristic study though In, like moderate play as a common Oh, I already scanned one. They're like 15 bucks at this point, so. Here is a Antiquities versus Power Plant. I love these. That's the real deal right there. I get a lot of Chronicles versus lands. And every time I scan them, they show up as the real antiquities. Um, but this is the real deal. 18 bucks for Urza's power plant with columns. Very nice. Banefire. Used to be bulk. But then got put in some deck that sees some play. Different edition. Speed versus cunning. Dual deck. Five bucks. Hangerback Walker. Solid 853. There's a couple of those. Drowned Catacomb. Two of those. Oh, they're on their way up. Nemesis of Reason. I think that's an okay card. Yep. 660 that counts so Here's a nice uh, fifth edition of Inerol's di disc I didn't flub it that time. 561. There you go. <laughs> Swords of Plowshares uh, from uh, Ice Age. And here's a Vedelkin Orrery, which I, I do remember seeing it when I opened the box and went through and got overwhelmed, didn't even know what I had in my hand. I, I flipped right past this one. Didn't even realize I had a $20 card in my hand. 2174. Oh, different edition. This is the fifth dawn. 2294 for a Vettelkin Orrery. Cool. Here's a trick bind. That should be a little bit. 497. That counts as a little bit. A draining whelk. I'm not familiar. 347. Here's a revised brain geyser. Those are great. 1079. I'll just start stacking up my good cards on top of my good cards. Heroic Intervention 2. Wow, cool. 532. A couple of those. Torment of Hailfire. Five of them. I'll make sure I count them right. So people call me out for not knowing how to count. There are five Torment of Hail Fires right there. <clears throat> Four and a one is five. 25 bucks. Great. Uh, a real survival of fitness would be like 90 some bucks, right? Um, but the World Championship deck version apparently goes for 19. Uh, so, better than nothing. Um, <clears throat> I guess, you know, in a cube or in your, your casual commander card, having one of these uh, is a lot less expensive than the real one. Um, so, they're still desirable. And there's four of those, so it's 
put those out. And we'll throw on, place it, and move on. Yep, three bucks for that. Here's an Ameria, the Sky Ruin. Wow, six bucks. Great. I don't see them too often in my collection. Yeah, but some of them, they just kind of surprise me. That it's, that's an $8 card. Another brain geyser. It's not that one. It's the revised. 1079. Um Italian legends. Um was it time elemental? Is that what it was? Doesn't recognize it. I'm going to add it in. Time Elemental from Legends, but being in $33 was the English version. Um, you can assume the Italian version would be at least half of that. So there it is. It's still decent. Grasp of Fate. Thirteen ninety nine again another card that I'm not familiar with. Pay uh, two white and a one. It's enchantment. When Grass of Fate enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target non-land permanent that player controls until Grass of Fate leaves the battlefield. So it's an Oblivion Ring for all of your opponents. Cool. You can see why you would want to run that in your commander deck. Mizix is mastery. Another surprise commander card that's good. <clears throat> Limdul's Vault. That is a good card. Yep. Crawl Space. Another commander card there. No more than two creatures can attack you each combat. Let's pull it out of the sleeve. Six bucks. Tempt with Discovery. Five seventy-eight. Someone just deconstructed a bunch of commander decks and threw them in here. And this right here is a clone, but it's the unlimited version. You can see how far over to the left the C is there, and the text is a little more gray than a revised edition would be. Unlimited edition clone, 785. Awesome. It's it's an unlimited dark ritual. Definitely not an alpha. It's been printed a million times, but as an unlimited card, it's 854. Awesome. Uh, Sulfurous Springs. Five bucks. Kamal. Arch Enemy version, 717. Here's that. Well, okay, here's that Time Elemental. The English version. I guess I thought I had seen it already, but here it is. And this one's in pretty good condition. Eh, SP, MP. You be the judge. Um, and it had already been seen before. So that is 33 bucks minus whatever the condition would be. Um, I'll just stack that over here. Um, and then, wow, more unlimited cards. Love it. Nightmare. And it does have like a similar kind of big thick white border to that dark ritual. Um, a lot of play on the back there. <clears throat> 
What does something like that go for? This says $78.99. Uh, so, really happy with that. Um, I would be happy with half of that, I think. That's great. Well, we'll throw that one right there. And then I'll look at this beta card. Siren's Call. I did, I think I did scan this um, on my other video. 16 bucks as a beta uncommon. This one's uh, a little play, but it's not too bad. Run out of room here. Oh yeah, the Abu Jafar from uh, Arabian Nights. Amazing, but price-wise, it's 15 bucks for a common card. It's because it's pretty rare. I I don't know if I've ever actually pulled one of those before. Um, and here's another dark ritual, which. It's another uh, unlimited. The printing is just so different. Um, the one on the left, the the wording is just whiter. I don't know if you can tell. Um, the one on the right here, it's a little more gray. So again, not an alpha. Unlimited, eight bucks. But I've got it. That's great. Um, and then I've got an unlimited Black Knight, in fact. Also seen some play. Not alpha. The scanner needs to be able to differentiate white border and black border. 19 bucks for an unlimited Black Knight. I'm really running out of room here. Um, but anyway, here I do have an unlimited Animate Dead. Uh, which we left off at before. Uh, again, these are played unlimited cards. Um, but still, it's better than what I had before. Uh, and it always wants to think that they're alpha, but they're not. So the unlimited edition is 15 bucks. Really helping to add up this collection, as you can see there. Uh, that's great. I got a black vise to go with it. Unlimited. Um, Yep, again, more play. The front looks pretty good, actually. Um, it's not a fourth edition. You can do a little better than that. Unlimited edition Black Vice 18. Solid. And a Singer Vampire. Which, uh, as an oh, pretty bad back on that. But as an unlimited card, it should be a little better. Uh, yep, $18.99. That's about the same as the Black Vice. Fine then. Pirate Ship. Oops. This one actually is in pretty good condition. Again, unlimited. Uh, and then Angelic Voices from Legends. Again, older cards. Saw a lot of play back then, apparently. Everything here in the $18 range. That's interesting. Uh, Alluren. Uh, from Tempest. It's a good card for uh, Commander, probably. Any player may play a creature card with total casting cost three or less whenever he or she could play an instant and without paying its casting cost. Uh, the enchantment for two and two green. Maybe that's not a good commander card because everyone would just do that, right? You'd set your legacy deck around that, right? 21 bucks. Thousand Year Elixir. Commander Anthology, it's over five bucks. Put it right there. There's a Frankenstein's monster from the dark, which had spiked at one point because it's a reserve list card, but 
I don't know if you want to read all that. You pause right there. Go ahead. I'm not going to read it. Um, seven bucks. It had spiked up to like 18 bucks at one point. It's gone its way down again. Uh, all right, we'll throw it over there. And we got a Grenzo Havoc Razor from Conspiracy. Five bucks. Conspiracy, take the crown. Accounts. Eater of the Dead. I got two of these in the dark. Got a little problem on the side of that one. Seven bucks for each of those. And we'll throw both of those there. Got an Avoid Fate from Legends. I think it's just a common. Pretty good common. Season of the Witch. I think we had seen another one of these in this collection. But being, I'm pretty sure it's like 10 bucks. So we'll put that somewhere here too. There we go. Sure, why not? Uh, Worms of the Earth. There's three of those from the dark. Wow, great. Three of those. Here we are at the end of the video with the epic results of this box from Goodwill of Kansas and Missouri. Uh, it was great. I can't even lie. As you can see there, the total after pulling out every card that was under 90 cents was still $2,157.67 um, on an investment of about 350 Couldn't be happier. That's great. In fact, here are all the cards that didn't make any kind of interest. They weren't even at least a bulk rare. That's it. Here's everything else that was at least a bulk rare or a foil card or something that was interesting. Uh, many, many, many of them were uh, at least 90 cents and, uh, and, and quite a few that are more. Um, here in this section is all the stuff that was actually really good. So we'll pull that out and take a look at it. Got a lot of foils. Um, got some uh, cards from Unlimited. Uh, let's just rifle through them real quickly. A couple of foil stone rains from Mercadia Mass. A bunch of DCI promo kind of stuff. This was a foil body snatcher. Foil necropotence from Deck Masters. Some stuff from the dark. Uh, Learn Worms of the vo uh, Earth. Yada. I'm just going to go through. Unlimited Sanger Vampire. Unlimited Black Vice, Unlimited Anime Dead, Frankenstein's Monster, some more Unlimited cards, and Abu Jafar. This Unlimited Nightmare was actually the big winner of the lot. It uh, scanned in at 78 bucks, so that's awesome. Um, a couple of uh, Legends cards, that one's uh, Italian. Uh, actually got a beta card. Um, a lot of these are well over five bucks um there's a, or a legends time elemental some great commander stuff um more unlimited stuff we got gold border survival of the fittest play sets of playable cards um not everything was in great condition that's okay it's still gonna it's still gonna fetch something it's not gonna be a total loss in fact, it's actually going to be great. <laughs> uh, and a real antiquities, there's this power plant. A Nevineros disc. I said it right that time. This winter orb was damaged. It's actually not part of the total. Um, so I'm going to pull it out. A Vedelkin Orrery. Uh, more promo kind of stuff. Um, revised stuff. Hangerback walkers. And then uh, actually a bunch of cards um, that were over there that didn't rate the $5 and up. But they were miscut. Um, so they're kind of oddities that I might try to sell on eBay and see if someone will give me something for them. Even as commons, they might actually go a little more than the typical five cent common or something. Um, this stuff, that stuff, this guy, that thing, a lot of stuff. Um, if you're watching this at the end of the edited version, um, thanks for watching. If you're watching this at the end of the unedited version on my second channel, I thank you even more.
Uh, make sure to subscribe to Tragic the Garnering and uh, links down below to see the full unedited version of this if you really want to watch me pick through all these cards. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people that do, so don't laugh at me. Uh, thanks for watching. This is fun for me as always. Um, uh, this is why I do this because it's a pretty good return on investment. And it's a lot of fun and uh, I enjoy showing it off to everybody. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one.